so in a sense every time somebody calls action and I don't like it when they call action I, I, I like it oh, sort I love of it. When, when it's just <laughs> I so on and action. you kind of just take your own cue <laughs> and Jeremy Strong and Anne Hathaway's nearly 25 minute talk for Variety's Actors on Actors that is the moment that's getting the most attention so Jeremy would rather start a scene when he's ready as opposed to hearing the director say that jarring word now we know it's a jarring word it jarred Isabel and Violet in Downton Abbey, A New Era. Action! And back in 2018, Clint Eastwood told Variety on the red carpet for The Mule that he doesn't say that word either from the director's chair. Because action jars people's nerves. They all go, and uh, I don't want that. I just want to start, and I want to get people at their very best, and that means keeping their nervous system under wrap. Yeah, it makes sense. And it's not like Jeremy's saying it from a perspective of, oh, I hate when a director tells me when to perform. Like, I'm not at their beck and call. No. Like Clint says, it's an unnecessary jolt, like when you're supposed to perform. So yeah, you can be a little more subtle with it. Now, granted, if an actor was sitting there for five minutes while cameras were rolling saying, oh, I'm not ready yet, that's a different story. But no, if the director says, okay, whenever you're ready, and the actor starts within five to ten seconds, what's the big deal? It's not. I will say that Jeremy Strong strikes me as someone I would not click with. I'm not hating on him, I'm just saying he talks very abstractly and it's like, what are you talking about, man? Like in this section, I have kind of sufficed that he is talking about the idea that he doesn't want to completely pre-plan how he's going to perform a scene. He wants to, you know, live in the moment and, you know, go with whatever happens. You sort of blindly follow, as you say, a sense of truth mm -hmm. and really, I think, rigorously do that and then you discover what it is and it, it reveals itself to you but I don't ever prescribe a shape or know where I'm going and that is Anne Hathaway's face in reaction to that mm -hmm. and that would be my face as well huh and it's funny that Jeremy kind of talks like Anne Hathaway used to talk when people hated her and I'm paraphrasing here, but... If you want to get realistic with it, and thank you very much for bringing me back down to earth. After her deserved Oscar win for Les Miserables, Anne realized that she had to loosen up a bit and show some humility and have some self-awareness. And she demonstrates that right off the top of this Actors on Actors talk. Hi, Jeremy. Hey. Sorry. In case you're watching this at home or on your phone, on the subway or any place, uh, we're meant to call each other and all actors by full names. So, hello, Jeremy Strong. Anne <laughs> That's someone who knows how it could be interpreted. If she just, you know, says his full name, people will be like, why is Anne Hathaway saying his full name? So she immediately puts that disclaimer in there. Yeah, she's much more self-aware, something I'm very aware of as well. Um, so, yeah, so Anne is a very different person, and she's listening to this person who seems very wrapped up in this whole philosophical, opaque idea of what acting is. But yeah, when it comes to action, I don't think Jeremy said anything wrong there. But yeah, what do you think? 